here's another thing that I talked about last week a bit, um, and I talked about it in the survey, was that I was like, um, you know what we don't have that every other game has that's a brawling game that I want is accessibility controls. And what that means is, it's interesting that like, all the other brawling games, the, the specials are plugged in with the right analog stick, so... Up, left, down, you could do like signature attacks on other games. Uh, just with the, an the the right analog stick, and that's like Smash Brothers' main thing. Is the C, the C. Let's. You, that's what they let you do. So it's interesting that like I even play multiverses and it lets you do that, and you really can't do that in this game. It's 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 the taunt, and I'm like, oh maybe maybe I could change it, and I thought I could. Oh sorry, I'm like you're trying to you're trying to combo here. We did something! <laughs> we did something! <laughs> we tried. We did something. Oh, it's interesting yeah, that like, I can't with the right analog stick map. Because it, what, would, what would be cool is that I could press left or right on the analog stick for side signature and I can even hold it. That lets me do is free up my hand to do other things that I wasn't doing before. That means I'm able to like slide off the stage, turn around and do a signature attack just with the analog stick way easier than I can with the controller. It, you yeah, don't even know the implications. Huh? That could also be a possibility also be on par somewhere close to like mouse and keyboard users. Thank you. That's also what I said. I said that I said, if you give us these kinds of accessibility controls, it just brings us closer to how keyboard and mouse plays a little bit more. You, you don't get the res like the the frame rate responses and stuff, but you get a little. It's the same way that like controllers have like a little bit of um, uh, aim assist on first person shooters, because not it'd be impossible to play with anyone against the, uh, a mouse and keyboard. It's just, it would be impossible. Like you would not be able to do it. So people play on consoles. And one of the big things was that, you know, they did cross-play, but there is a disparity between consoles and, and PC players. It just is what it is because of, you know, the monitor, the system, all of it. So, you know, we I assumed when mobile came out that, that they would be able to have a feature where they turned off cross-play because now there is enough people that a lobby won't get crazy or stuck or nothing. Ah. Uh, because there's just enough people in the game and that ended up you know like they just didn't do it and I don't know if they're gonna do it and there are games that do it like it's necessary I think Fortnite technically does it and I think Call of Duty does it oh I know what to do I know what to do oh um, nice! Is that we are not professional players, we're not pro players. We like to have a lot of fun in this game. We are like gold, platinum players. That have a shit ton of fun. Like, I don't think everybody needs to be pro. I ain't gonna, I ain't, I'm not, there's no road for me for that. Just make this game fresh. And I'm like, you could do that without breaking the game. Oh! Oh, I thought you almost got him into me. Nice backup! No, dude, what the heck? Yo, did we three stop them? We three stop them. Ah, uh, there you go. Yo, I said I'm pro <laughs> player. This is what happens when everyone else quits. You make up to the top. <laughs> I think we made it. <laughs> I think we made it. We're going to top 8 BCS. <laughs> I just talked too much shit.